Hello internet and filmmakers of the world. Today I'm going to show you how you can get awesome macro shots using your lenses for super cheap. Macro shots look super cool and they're a great way to add some variety and something unique to your videos. However, it's not always the best idea to just go out and buy a macro lens because they can be pretty expensive and it's hard to invest in something like that when you know you're not going to be using it on a daily basis because it's just really honestly a specialty lens. So instead you can use a lens you already own to get macro shots. Using a reverse mount lens adapter, you can actually take one of your own lenses and basically flip it around and mount it to your camera backwards. I know it sounds crazy, but it actually magnifies the image and allows you to get way closer with the camera and lens to get some super close up macro shots. Let's take a look at a little fake Netflix intro that I made using all macro shots right now. So here's how you get this set up. For me, I'm using a Canon mount lens on my Sony camera. So first I have to put an adapter on that allows me to do that. If you're using native glass for your camera, you're not gonna need this adapter. Next, I screw the reverse mount lens adapter into the threads on the front of my lens. You're gonna need to figure out what millimeter your lens is so you can get the right adapter for yours. I also recommend using a lens with a medium focal length, something that ranges between 24 to 50 millimeters. Because if you go too telephoto or too wide angle, it just doesn't work well with this setup. The lens you use should also be fully manual. That way you can keep control of the f-stop and the focus. Because remember, when you flip this thing around, you're not going to have any electronic controls of those things. When I'm shooting with this setup, I usually stop down somewhere between f8 to f16 so that I can keep things in focus. Because when you're doing macro shots like this, it is such a shallow depth of field. So if you're shooting somewhere f2.8 to like f1.8, it's gonna be almost impossible for you to keep things in focus. Since you have to shoot so stop down, you have to compensate for that by adding a lot of light. So if you're gonna be shooting outside, this probably won't be a problem, but if you're gonna be indoors, just plan on using some lights so you can actually see your subject when you're shooting. Also plan to use a tripod because the slightest movement can completely change your frame and throw your focus off. Using a reverse mount lens adapter isn't the absolute best way to get macro shots, but if you're on a budget, this is definitely a way to do it. Or maybe you're just interested in getting into macro videography, this is a great way to get started. Guys, if you wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.